Uh, look, the Celtics, by the way, don't look now. Something is going on. But the Clippers with a very nice, very convincing 113-93 win. How about Kawhi and PG with a combined 51? Okay, this is the Clippers team, and I don't want to get too excited because keeping them both on the floor seems almost impossible. But when they are both on the floor, Eddie, how dangerous are they really? I mean, they're selling as world champion. They're, they're, they're that good in a league that is built to score from the wings they have some of the best defensive wings in the league they have some of the the, the one of the best rosters of wings and versatility nick batum kind of unsung hero here he's been a monster for them defensively and and he he made things rough for jason tatum last night and Jalen brown they're built to win that style of play that playoff style of, of basketball the problem for them in the west is there's there's one mon- a monkey in that and wrench in that style of play, and that's Stephen Curry. He's not a wing, and and nobody at this size can guard him, and they're going to run into him eventually one way or the other. Uh, they also owe uh, Luka a little bit a little bit of slack as well, but mm. they're a dangerous, dangerous team, and now they're without Norman Powell, so they're still not even full strength. But for Kawhi mm-hmm. to go out there and shoot 10 of 12, score 25 points against those guys, which a week ago we said is the best team in the league, it just shows how effective he can be even in small doses – as he rounds himself into shape and and gets ready for the long run. Now, are they all going to shut it down in a week and then we won't see them again until Valentine's Day? Maybe. I mean, Great it might question. not even a, be a bad idea, but they, they show their potential when they need to. And that's a maybe the most dangerous team in the league. Yeah, watching this game last night, this was vintage Kawhi Leonard. He was getting to his spots. He was pulling up left, pulling up right, posting up. This was – he looked thin. He looked in shape. Uh, this was the Kawhi Leonard that was brought there to, you know, to be their best player. And this just shows you how good that they can be. Like we just said, Covington, Powell, they didn't play last night and they still just dominated the best team in the league Um, with, with Paul George and Kawhi. This is the first time they both scored over 20 in a really long time. Uh, This just shows that they are a real contender. I'd love to see them build off this. I'd love to see them at full strength, but uh, on the other side, this is the Celtics have been on the road. This is a two game losing streak. Uh, They got the Lakers tonight. Um, I feel like they've been on the road forever and it's not been an easy road trip, but this is something that, you know, they they need to put an end to this right now. They need to bounce back, but this just shows you how dangerous the Clippers are when they're fully loaded. It also shows you how tumultuous this league can sometimes be because one minute we're like, God, call it a day Celtics for the win, but Shams, they have, they shown a few weaknesses that maybe if you are a Celtics fan, got your eyebrows raised a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're, they're waiting on the return of Robert Williams. Al Horford not in the lineup as well. So you're down a couple of bigs, and you saw last night the way that the Clippers played. Uh, they were getting to their spots. Kawhi Leonard, PG, were, were super aggressive. And I think for the Clippers side, you have to give a lot of credit to Ty Lu. He kept his team afloat uh, when they were without both of those guys for pretty much most stretches of this season. And so that, to me, speaks identity and culture. And now – the sky's the limit. This is a team that should have made it to the conference final, uh, definitely the NBA finals after making it to the conference finals without Kawhi, without Kawhi Leonard a couple seasons ago. So I think uh, this this team seems prime now. They just got to keep these guys on the floor. And I think for the Celtics, try to bounce back tonight and get Al Horford and, and Rob Williams back in your lineup, uh, possibly by the end of the weekend.